Um, thanks very much, Cahir. Look, first of all, um, to the Deputy Gannon and Social Democrats, I very much welcome this. It is a, a very, very serious issue, and I want to, in the short term, I have mainly focus on the impact that it's having on children and their educational opportunities. I think, you know, we get one chance in, in the school system. Um, every child is obviously different, and it can be very difficult for some children. Um, I think particularly in the aftermath of COVID, one thing that has always really, really frustrated me is that when COVID, uh, you know, has sort of left and the, the schools went back to, you know, a, a more sort of normal system, children, I felt, were just expected to nearly slot back in and there wasn't really the recognition that there should have been there. I know there was additional resource hours given in some situations, but not in all situations. And it was, it was like the fact that that year and a half didn't nearly happen. And now we're seeing a situation where children are back into the school system. They are really trying to catch up on stuff. I mean, many children are still trying to catch up on the basics of reading, writing, spelling. Uh, depending on what age you were and what class you were in when, when the lockdowns happened. The, the homeschooling was just a complete and utter disaster and I don't think any child really benefited from it. So I think um, after COVID we really needed to put an awful lot more resources in and what's after happening now is we're seeing a situation where there's a serious shortage of teachers which is having an impact. It is totally and utterly unacceptable to children that they will have different teachers, that they might have free classes. Kids love that, the excitement of you know, no school or no classes for a day, but in the long term, that's not going to actually be of benefit to them. And it's totally and utterly unfair on the teachers that are there, that are trying, that are doing their best, that are coming in sometimes in circumstances where they know they should be out if they're sick, but they're doing their best because they don't want to let the students down. And then we have teachers who are being literally driven out of our cities uh, due to the cost of housing and not being able to find housing. Um, to say it's a mess is an understatement, and I would agree with my colleagues that have said the proposal by government simply is absolutely ridiculous, and it's just literally a divide-and-conquer type mentality rather than actually looking at the, the solutions that we should be looking at in relation to housing and ensuring that we have adequate teaching staff. Thank you. Okay,